Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while since I last posted. I think it's been about a month and a half and I'm really sorry about that. I have been chipping away at projects behind the scenes, but because I'm trying this new rule of working in silence and not telling you what I'm working on, but showing you, it does mean there's a lot of radio silence in between and I'm really sorry about that. It really annoys me. That I want to be able to show you stuff like nearly every day, but it's, it's kind of hard when I want this stuff when I want the stuff that I make to look nice, but I also want it to, you know, I need to take time on it. So it means quite a lot of silence in between. But hopefully you will enjoy this video that I bring to, to you today. February has definitely been a rough month for art. I don't know what it is about that passage of the year, but it seems very slow, very draining. <laughs> so I've just tried to take it easy. But something I used to talk about in one of my studio diaries is how much I wanted to do clothing and fashion design and have like a brand of clothing. And I've kind of left that alone for ages. I've never talked about it since. But I think I really needed to start at the bottom of fashion design and like designing logos for clothes and all that. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna take it easy and start by customizing some one-off piece instead of trying to do like a whole range of t-shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. I'd like to do that, but I'm just not sure that it's in my budget at the minute. <laughs> so, one thing my dad has been really asking me is to like, he bought this plain tote bag and he said, oh, do you think you could paint it for me? And I've been promising ages and ages to do it. And the other day I just finally sat down and did it. I kind of had this really great spark of motivation and inspiration to do it. Although I had no idea what I actually wanted to do. I was really out of ideas. So I thought, oh, you know, this is my first time doing a custom tote bag. I'll try and pick something simple, like a simple design. And I decided on this jungle leaves and retro computer, which funny enough is not actually that simple. It's actually a bit more complicated than I thought. But yeah, I've always been really, I've gotten really bored of drawing on paper, I think. I want to see my artwork, other things apart from paper. I want to see it on t-shirts, I want to see it on bags, on laptop covers, stuff like that. But I kind of want to make it myself. So I'm just kind of starting with a tote bag for now. I know I have plans to start customising some other things and I've bought some things specifically to customise and I am super, super excited. But yeah, the artwork for this, I struggled a little bit with not knowing what I wanted to do and also feeling like I was struggling with the texture of this bag because this bag was bought from Flying Tiger for a pound and it's a really nice tough bag, but the texture is very, very rough. So I was putting on layers and layers of paint trying to make it smooth so I could draw on top of it because I really wanted to use my Poscas, but I ended up using a mix of Poscas and some leftover tubes of Arteza acrylic paints that I had. I kept a couple of tubes because I had a feeling I would want to use them again sometime and I had them mixed with a Dela and Rowney acrylic white and I managed to get some really lovely colours. With acrylics I don't have many but I would like to get some more or maybe even properly get some fabric paints because I know a lot of you will probably comment that this will crack and it's very likely it could crack which is a shame because I feel like the final result was really nice. I do have some Mod Podge, which I got the Mod Podge fabric, so I will be sealing this later on. I'm going to do that outside, I think. I don't know whether Mod Podge smells or anything, but yeah, I hopefully if I seal it, it will make it a bit more longer lasting, which would be nice, because I think it would be a shame if this did end up cracking.
So yeah, I can't say much about the design because I wasn't really thinking about the design. All I knew is I kind of wanted to draw jungle leaves and a retro computer. And as I said earlier, I thought this was going to be a simple design, but it ended up being a bit more complicated than I thought. I don't know why I thought a retro computer would be a, a simple design. I actually really did struggle a lot. I did reach a really ugly stage with this painting. I thought, oh no, this is going to look so horrible, but I kind of persevered and I ended up really liking what I finished with. But yeah, I, I really don't have much to say, really, because there's not much to say. I kind of painted a tote bag, that's it, that's the end. But I really hope this is the beginning of like me experimenting, experimenting more with what i actually making. I want to branch out more and more and keep changing the way I do things and changing up my canvases. It was really fun, it's really fun just seeing my artwork on something other than paper, something different and I'm really excited to take this idea and do other things with it, do more designs and get a little bit crazier with what I'm drawing. I still feel this is kind of safe and maybe kind of similar to what I've done before but I've started to think it's not such a bad thing if I have a theme to my work. I'm always worried about getting stagnant and I know I've talked a lot about that in the past but I think sometimes my comfort zone is okay. Having an aesthetic is okay and having some of my favourite things, you know, and I draw them, you know, a lot. I don't think that's such a bad thing anymore. I know I was really scared of it in the past but now I'm thinking, you know, Art is hard, I struggle a lot, I'm gonna draw the things that make me happy, <laughs> which is like jungle leaves, retro technology and my characters. I'm gonna try and draw my characters more too because I, I love my characters. I like drawing people and weird characters and I kind of like I love drawing fashion and everything. And I've been really getting into like tech wear and everything. I can't afford any of those pieces because, you know, they're super expensive, but maybe one day. <laughs> so that is the finished picture. Well, the finished bag. I am really, really happy with it and I do hope it does last. But, you know, if it doesn't, I'll paint another. I do have more ideas for future bags and hopefully I will record those as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it's been a while, I'll try and bring you more fun stuff in future but for now I hope you enjoyed this one, I will see you all next time, bye bye!